attack on your correction facility exposes Nigerians' poor security situation, Ghani Adams tell Nigerian leaders. I mean, we're all aware of what happened. Funani Machineries has come to Oye facility and has filled the, uh, the Fulani, uh, those who, who were there, because uh, many of them were, were held up because of the activities and the atrocities they have uh, you know, committed and done, and Wakali and all that, and they are trying to free him. So they said it was even foreign ones, foreign missionaries that have come to you know, free him. This was foreign missionaries. And now this attack that has gone on is a clear indication that, you know, these things that are going on is showing to everybody, you know, how porous the security situation of the country is. You know, Ghani Adams is saying we need to pay attention. We do need to pay attention. Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up, like or share, subscribe. Let's get all the details. Attack on your correction facility exposes Nigerians' poor security situation, Ghani Adams. The Aremu Akako Four of Yoruba land, Ghani Adams, on Saturday condemned the attack of the Oyo Town Correction Facility, saying the invasion was a national embarrassment. Suspected bandits, Fulani headsmen, on Friday night reportedly attacked the Agbo Logo Correction Center in Oyo State, freeing on specific number of inmates at the facility. In a statement by the special assistant to media, Mr. Kenny Aderemi, the Yoruba leader said, the invasion of the Oyo town prison by Fulani headsmen has exposed the poor security situation in the country. He also expressed concerns at the situation, adding that Oyo state and the entire southwest has never experienced such a jailbreak in a long time adding that the same situation also occurred in Kebi, Kogi, and even Edo states during the NSAS. Adams, however, blamed the Oyo State Security Services for its failure to beef up security in the prison. Adams, however, blamed the Oyo State Security Services for its failure to beef up security in the prison. He said Oyo State has never recorded such an incident before. It is unfortunate that these things are happening, and following the attack, on the Abuja bond train, the Oyo prison attack, it is certainly no doubt that the bandits are playing out a script that will later engulf the entire nation if care is not taken now. It is indeed very ridiculous to hear that nothing is being done to salvage what is going on as they keep calling them bandits and these are actually the terrorists. The news coming from ancient town, our very Oyo state, is quite unfortunate. However, I will want people to rise up. I will want to express my concern to the KBAC, His Majesty, Oba Limido Adeyeye. My sincere concern to the Oba, as well as the Oyo state government. I am using this opportunity to all the, the Inspector General of Police to look into the security situation in Oyo and address the problem most professionally immediately. They are targeting the Southwest. They are already coming in and people are living in fear. This must be done immediately. If people rise up to self-defense, they will come up to say you have no right to do so. You know, if, you don't, if we don't get this done immediately, it's clear that something is pushing in. You don't understand it. These things are pushing in gradually. They are looking at it. They are, they, are, they are looking at it and looking at, okay, what should we do? How should we do it? Can we go this way? What should we, I mean, we've, if we succeed this way, we can maybe get, get away with this. This is why Sunday Goho rose and began to help the people. And they said Sunday Goho is the criminal. Why they are bandits? You see, this is what Nigerian government wants. They will not, very soon people will resort to self-help. Whether you like it or not, you may not want to hear it, but it's the truth. Everybody cannot fold their arms and pretend that all is well. People will soon resort to self-help. Watch it. Just watch it. People will resort to self-help. You will see it very soon. People will resort to self-help. It's not going to be long. You will see it. People will resort to self-help. They'll begin to say, no, we cannot allow these things to happen. And this is what they are doing to the people in the Southeast. 
destroying and killing them for going to self-help to say we will not allow our places to be overrun by unsubscribed elements. A boy state governor was the one who said, ah, they are our children, ah, let's play with them. And by the time they start killing people in a, a boy state, he can no longer speak. He can no longer speak. You see, so this is what is going on. This is what is going on, you know. It's, 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 it's terrible. It's terrible what is happening, but it's happening. It's terrible what's happening, but it's happening, you know. So Nigerians, a wake-up call. A wake-up call. I don't know what we're going to do, but we have something have to change. It cannot be business as usual. Things must change. Things must change. It must. It must. So, uh, I, I mean, what do we do? People cannot even go about their lives again and do what they need to do. People can no longer go about their business and do what they need to do because some people are out there causing trouble and everybody is quiet, pretending that all is well. Listen, guys, it is a wake-up call. Okay? It is a wake-up call. Let's all rise up together. Listen, it's because we are fragmented. It's because we are disunited. If we are truly united, they will not be able to, you know, infringe on our fundamental human rights. It is because among us, there are people who share a different ideology. And there are people who, after we've agreed on something, we go back and behave in another way. Or we choose another way for expressing what we've all agreed upon. If we all stay together on, in, with one voice, undivided, trust me, nobody, I repeat, nobody will be able to, to just come and just, you know, bamboozle us. If we all stay together with one voice, one people, one unity, it will be difficult. Trust me. Very difficult. Very, very difficult. So this is what it is. The power of unity cannot be overemphasized. It cannot be underestimated. We must take it seriously. The power of unity, we must work at it. If we do, then the federal government cannot kill everybody. Abi now. Can't kill everybody. Can't. So leave us a comment. We'd love to hear from you. Please don't forget to like us, share, subscribe. Click on the notification button so you can get all our latest news. God bless you. Have a lovely and a fantastic day. From us, it's bye for now. Bye.